Hello and welcome. I hope that you are having a fantastic day today. Today is Jan uh, December 26, 2020. It's 5.12 p.m. Central Standard Time in the United States. And Bitcoin just recently, in the last couple of hours, hit a brand new all-time high of $26,800. That is phenomenal news. And hang on, because we're going to dig into this. We're going to actually dig in and take a look at some of the charts relating to Bitcoin's history and, and get a better idea of what's in store in the next weeks and months ahead. This is going to be a great video, so watch the whole thing all the way to the end. Now, I want you to know that our YouTube channel is about giving you ideas to help you take profits and avoid losses. Smash the like button, subscribe, click on the bell button and hit all. Um, and that way you'll be notified every time we put up brand new videos. We want to keep in touch with you and we want to keep you update with special events like Bitcoin hitting a brand new all-time high. Now, I'm not a financial advisor and this is not financial advice. This is my opinion. Um, take a look at this paragraph here. Cryptocurrency involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for every investor. I highly recommend you read it and follow its advice. It's good advice no matter what you're investing into. Now, in the last 10 days, so it was on December 16th of 2020, just 10 days ago, Bitcoin was writing around the $19,000 price range. And as of today, it has shot all the way up into the $20,000 price range, that gives us a 38% gain in 10 days. Wow, 38% in 10 days. How many investments do you know that'll give you a 38% gain in 10 days? Now, I know, I know that doesn't happen all the time. It is a great thing when it does happen with Bitcoin and it's happened in the last 10 days. I hope you had some money invested out there because if you did, you made some nice returns in the last 10 days. So I wanted to take a look at this chart though. This shows us all three of the most recent halvings. So if you're not familiar with it, Bitcoin every four years goes through a halving where the miners who are uh, maintaining the Bitcoin network, uh, the miners are the people who maintain the Bitcoin network. They make sure that everything is protected, that the trades are legitimate trades, and for their payment, they get rewarded in Bitcoin. But their income got cut in half. Every time there's a halving, they get half as much as they used to get. And so initially they were getting 50 Bitcoins and then it dropped to 25, 12 and a half. And right now they're getting six and a quarter Bitcoin every time they add a new block to the blockchain. And if you take a look at this chart, you can see here that in the first halving, things went ballistic. In fact, if you check these numbers out, here we're looking at a Bitcoin of around $8, and it all jumped all the way up to a Bitcoin of, let me show you here, a Bitcoin right here of $1,161. And so going from around the $8 range, which is right here, $850, all the way up to $1,161, that is better than a 100x gain on your money. Now you might be saying, well, that was just a one-time event. Well, let's take a look at this one here. Here you're looking at a Bitcoin price of around $600, $500. And if we go all the way back here to the low, the previous low, we were looking at a low right in here of about $180, somewhere in the $180 ballpark. I think this, this red tail here actually, well, that one's, that's the one that's right at a $180 price range. And when we get all the way out here to the previous all-time high, it just touched $20,000. It was $19,500, somewhere in that ballpark. And that was a second 100x gain. So for every dollar you put in, you could take out $100 if you sold at that highest price. 
Now, 100x gain is nothing to sneeze about. There are some investors that go their entire lives and never see a 100x gain, especially in this time period. Notice that we're talking about um, right in here was somewhere in uh, the middle of July 2016, August 2016, when it hit this previous low. And then it busted through to its new all-time high in November 2018. So you're talking about a year and a half period of time to get a 100x gain. Now, where are we at today? Today, we're up in this corner here. And we can see that the previous low that Bitcoin hit is this red bar here, which came almost all the way down to 3,500. And so if we see another 100x gain from that price, that would put Bitcoin at $350,000. Now you got to ask yourself, $350,000 is a huge difference from where we we're at today. Today we just hit $26,800. And, you know, $26,800 is nothing to sneeze at. Now, if you're brand new with Bitcoin, that doesn't need, mean you need $26,000 just to invest in Bitcoin. You can still get into Bitcoin with five bucks or $500 or $5,000, whatever dollar amount you feel comfortable with. You can see the U.S. dollars is divisible by pennies. You can get 100 pennies out of a $1 bill. With Bitcoin, you can get 10 million Satoshis out of one Bitcoin. Even if you bought 100 Satoshis, you're still looking at around one penny for 100 Satoshis. And so when you, when you invest $5 into Bitcoin, you're still looking at having like 5,000 Satoshis. I, don't, I, I may have missed on my math, maybe I missed a digit or two um, in, the, in the decimal points. But the bottom line is, is that you could invest less than one penny into Bitcoin if you really wanted to. Now, the fees for the transactions would make it a, a, it would cost you more than the actual amount of Bitcoin you were purchasing. So I, I definitely don't recommend that. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice. But again, you know, do what's reasonable and safe for you and your family. Um, but obviously, I'm Bitcoin bullish. I've, I've talked to my, my mom, my dad, my brothers about investing in Bitcoin. I obviously think strongly about it. So I hope that you'll also consider it. Don't take my advice, though. Dig into it for yourself. Do some searches on Google. Decide if this really is for you. I hope that you'll agree with me and that you'll make an investment. But if you don't, I understand completely. It's not for everybody. So anyway, back to this chart, you can see here that in last year, right around November, we did hit a low of around $3,500. Uh, actually, I think that was January of 2020. Yeah, that was January of 2020, if I remember correctly. Now, this blue line was the halving that we just had in May of 2020. And normally, as you can see by these green boxes, Normally, Bitcoin is going to continue to go up for about a year, year and a half, uh, uh, almost a, a, a year and three quarters. It'll start, see, these halvings tend to start a bull run, and those bull runs tend to go parabolic. And that's where we're seeing these 100x returns, because the supply of Bitcoin is getting less and less and less. So, you know, Think about it this way. Recently, we've seen the supply of things like uh, toilet paper and um, all kinds of different stuff getting really, really tight because of the pandemic. Well, the same thing happens with Bitcoin, but it's a supply reduction on purpose. And in today's market, right now, PayPal is buying up every single Bitcoin that gets minted. Every brand new Bitcoin that was created in the month of December, PayPal bought all of them. In fact, so did Grayscale Bitcoin, the Grayscale BTC, the Bitcoin fund. They bought 
one and a half times the number of Bitcoin that was created. And then when you look at all of the different companies that are adding Bitcoin to their treasuries and taking cash out of U.S. bank accounts and buying Bitcoin for it, and when you include things like Harvard and, and Stanford and MIT and all these different colleges that have billions of dollars in, in uh, investment funds that they can invest in things, they're investing in Bitcoin. And then when you look at the BACT exchange, B-A-K-K-T, and how they've opened up their own uh, application. It's kind of like a cryptocurrency app where you can buy Bitcoin directly on the app and then you can go and use your Bitcoin at Starbucks and buy yourself a cup of coffee or you can trade it on all kinds of different stuff. So the, big, the backed app has huge, huge potential and it's doing a lot of different things. And with all of these different companies, they're buying up lots and lots of Bitcoin and that's creating a supply crunch. Um, in fact, I mentioned that PayPal is buying up every single brand new Bitcoin that's minted. Well, the companies that I've just mentioned are buying two times, three times, four times the amount of Bitcoin that's getting created every month. And so the supply of Bitcoin is continuing to shrink. I mean, it's not because it's making less. It, 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 the having happened in May and the next halving will be in about four years sometime in 2024 is when the next halving will happen. Uh, but right now the supply is getting less and less because of these large businesses like PayPal and Square and um, GBTC, the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust. All of those different entities buying up a whole bunch of Bitcoin means that uh, uh, four times the amount of Bitcoin created every month is actually just getting stored in, in these, these vaults that they're not going to be spent for a long time. And so that takes that Bitcoin off the market. And the end result, when supply goes down and demand is going up, the price goes up too. And so that's why Bitcoin has hit 28000 but, you know, when Citibank comes out and says that Citibank, this is, this is a large bank, and they think that Bitcoin is going to go to $300,000 by December 2021, maybe they have some good reason for making that statement. Wow, what a time to be around. So, I just want to thank you for checking out our channel. I also, I spent two years... Uh, writing and perfecting an algorithm and that algorithm gives me signals on when to buy cryptocurrencies and when to sell cryptocurrencies. The algorithm evaluates 80 different cryptocurrencies and I'm using my algorithm on eToro. You can see eToro up here. So if you want to copy trade me, all you have to do is go to eToro, Luminate Algo Trader, and click the copy button and you can invest as little as $200 or as much as you like in order to have your portfolio match my trades that are based off of the computer program I've written over the last two years. And so just to give you a heads up, my computer program uses mind-numbing math. The algorithm runs through thousands of mathematical calculations for each recommendation it makes. And if you do uh, sign up. If you're not an eToro member and you decide to sign up, then use this link down here. It's https eToro.tw2sdioms. And if you use that to sign up, deposit $200 or more, and use that $200 to copy my trades, eToro will give the first 10 people that do that $50 into their eToro accounts. Um, and so we have not reached the 10 people limit. Uh, I don't know when you're watching this video, so I can't tell you for sure whether or not it's still available. My recommendation is jump on it as quick as possible. And when you go to this link and register, eToro will let you know if this $50 bonus offer is still available. But it is a great offer because all you're doing is you're signing up you're depositing $200 and you're copying my trades and within 30 to 45 days, eToro will deposit $50 into your account. So, so far we have not hit that limit of 10 people, but I'll tell you what, it's filling up fast and so I hope you take action today in order to take advantage of this $50 limited offer. 
So in conclusion, how can I help you? How can I be of service to you? Do you have any questions, thoughts, comments? Please leave them in the uh, comments section of wherever you're watching my YouTube video. And in the meantime, I hope that you'll like, subscribe, and hodl. And hey, do me a favor and have a fantastic day.